Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Shutter Slaughterhouse. I'm Daniel, and uh, yes, got a couple things I want to talk about this week. Uh, watched a movie, watched an award show, going to talk about both right here. Uh, so first up on the docket, we got Day of the Beast. This was uh, 1995, uh, Spain, Spanish film, uh, and uh, yeah, it basically concerns a priest who is trying to stop the Antichrist, but he decides that he's going to sin a lot to kind of gain their trust. Like they, meaning devil worshippers, I guess. And so he teams up with this uh, metalhead and uh, this occult expert, or TV occult expert, and uh, the three of them are going to try to save the world. Uh, I've never even heard of this, but it's got a lot of critical praise. Like, it was... A lot of people liked it. They talked about everything else. Uh, like I said, I've, just, I've never even heard of it. But, uh, yeah, this is the first time I watched it. I really liked it. I will say, I think the ending, I'm a little confused, slightly. Uh, I don't want to say anything right now because I want to give anything away. Uh, DM me. Because uh, I really want to know what, you know. Uh, like I said, there's just little things about it I'm not 100% on. But, overall, I really dug the movie. I liked the concept. I thought it was really great. And it was really funny. I think that was the thing too. Like it was just really goofy. I, I mean like I said when, when the movie starts off and this priest is going around committing all these like fucking sins it's like the most horrible shit to you. You're like oh my god. But uh, as it plays out it makes a lot of sense. I really like it. I like the guy who played uh, the, the metalhead. The black metal enthusiast if you will. Uh, I really like that guy. Like I said I, I thought it was a really good movie. I highly recommend it. It is subtitled. You jackasses. Anybody out there who's like, yeah, I don't like subtitles. Well, get over it because you're going to miss a really good movie. Day of the Beast, uh, Watch of the Week, Pick of the Week, whatever you want to call it. Uh, people here at the uh, Shutter community, they gave it five out of five skulls, actually. They went full Monty with it. I'm going to give it four out of five, one because the ending kind of left me asking some questions. and I don't like when I get confused, so, you know. But anyways, no, but that should deter you. Like I said, Really good movie. Highly recommend it. Check it out. And then uh, up next, uh, this past Sunday was the Fangoria Chainsaw Awards 2021. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, I was kind of sad to see it's no longer on there. So if you missed it live, uh, you won't be able to catch it here on Shutter, But you can check it out on YouTube instead on the Fangoria page. So it's, it, you know, either way, you can you know, check it out. Uh, but anyways... Uh, you know, I've never seen the Chainsaw Awards. I remember, like, the only awards show that they, I ever watched that was, like, horror-related was the Scream Awards. And I grew to really hate the Scream Awards because it was kind of promised early on as, like, a horror movie award show. But then they were, like, quickly, like, well, it's horror, sci-fi, and fantasy. And then by, like, year two or three, it was just fucking superhero movies. Like, everything was in superhero movies. And I was just like, fuck. I don't know. I'm a horror guy. I don't give a shit about sci-fi or fantasy. I can watch them. I'm just not a big fan. But I definitely don't like superhero movies. Like, hardly at all. Dark Knight. Joker. Because they're dark. That's what I like. So, anyways. Uh, so, Chainsaw Wars. They're keeping it real with, you know, nothing but horror films. And I, I appreciate that. Uh, so, yeah. It's my first time watching it. I got a quick question for anybody out there. Like, where can I find, like, a complete list of winners from the past? Like, the Wikipedia Fangoria page uh, doesn't have anything up to date. Like, it literally has, like, the last few years, and it has the first few years that it was televised. But this thing dates back to 1981, and I can't find anything about it. So I went to Fangoria's homepage, uh, their website. They ain't got shit on it. And then I go on this Google, and, like, nothing. And it's like, are we, did we erase the history of this right here? Like, is there no more Fangoria past? Like... I don't know, are they ashamed of like what won, what did, so I don't know. Either way, I was really kind of looking, looking for the history of these prestigious Chainsaw Awards, and I didn't find shit hardly. Like, I found spots. I found like 92 to like 98, and then like 2015 and up, and that was it. And I, I don't know. So anyway, I know there's more out there, so I was just, I don't know, if anybody has any... Any unearthly uh, ideas about that? But this, this award show, I like I like award shows. I'm a sucker for them. But I really like this one. Now, I know this is probably potentially, you know, scaled down because we're still in a pandemic. Uh, and so this was just them doing the best they could. And so a lot of the, uh, you know, acceptance speeches and uh, 
people who were presenting was all, you know, Zoom at home. Uh, but it went really quick. Like, they jam-packed a shit ton of awards in under an hour. And I'm like, fuck yes. Like, that's what the Oscars should be. Like, seriously, I'm sick of these ridiculously long award shows. It's just full of fucking filler. Like, I want all killer, no filler. That's what I want in my award show. And I've got to tell you, Chainsaw Awards uh, definitely uh, delivered on that. Uh, fucking big ups to uh, The Invisible Man. Fucking dominated, it felt like. Like, uh, Lee Wanell, Wanell, Wendell, uh, that dude was literally on there like three or four times. And so was Jason Blum for the same movie. Like, they're just like out there constantly for the same movie. It's fucking incredible. So, uh, yeah, uh, but it was really cool. Like I said, it was really cool. Jamie Lee Curtis is on there. Like, I know she's promoting, you know, Halloween Kills or whatever, but it's like A-lister on there. Kevin Smith was there. That was really cool. So, I don't know. It, like I said, it was, it was really fun. Uh, yeah, I'll give it three out of five because, once again, it's not on a shutter, so there's no more... Like the shutter uh, rating isn't on there, but I give it a three out of five. I enjoyed it right down the middle. Uh, yeah, that's it. So, guys, that's all I got. If you've seen either of these, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. That's all I got, guys. Thank you for watching. Till next time.